everyone welcome back to my channel and happy november it is the first of november when i'm filming this the first of november when this is going live yes i do still have the pumpkins out but i'm yet to get my christmas decorations out of the loft and i thought rather than having nothing i'll leave the pumpkins for a little bit longer until i switch a room if that makes sense and i kind of thought the pumpkins could still be here because although halloween has now been and gone they're still kind of autumnal so they're gonna stay here for a little bit longer um but yeah today's video is a zara haul it is my first one for the month of november if you don't know already i do two zara hauls a month one at the start and one sort of in the middle so make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that i will also put my instagram and tiktok on screen here so that you can go over and follow me on there because again if you're not following me on there you definitely should be i feel like i've got way too much hair on my head today there's just like too much of it it's kind of overwhelming but anyway that's the story for another day but yeah today's haul is our haul it's gonna be a charm haul as always everything will be linked down below and i think that's about everything said in the intro i kind of just want to chuck my hair behind my shoulders because it is really annoying me but then if i do that the curtain bangs can look a bit dodgy i don't know what's going on with my hair today right let's just pull it back just ignore it i just feel like i've got a mane going on today that is the intro time i'm gonna stop blabbering now we are gonna get on with the haul and i'm gonna start off with this because i'm really excited about this i haven't actually tried any of this stuff on yet so you'll obviously see it on the try on clips but i haven't filmed them yet so i don't know what this is gonna look like on but on the model it looked so nice which is why i got it so it's kind of like a two-piece type thing so this is the top it's a really nice like thick kind of like sweatshirt material but it's not sweatshirt material i don't even know how to explain it but it's a really really nice material really really thick and lovely and it's got like a slightly sort of like high neck to it and then it's like a long sleeve top but it's got this like interesting cutout detailing on the bottom as you can see like it's just a little bit different like it's basic but the cutout detailing just makes it a little bit more interesting and this i got in a size small and for reference i'm five foot five and i'm a size six and then the model was wearing it with these trousers so it's kind of a two-piece but it's not like if that makes sense because you can obviously wear them together but like it's not a co-ord does that make sense i feel like i'm over explaining things and making it more complicated than it needs to be but these are the trousers and these are a really really thick lovely quality they kind of remind me of work wear like if you're going um to work in an office it's kind of that like professional like thick good quality material i don't know if that makes sense i don't work in an office so i don't know but that's how i imagine it to be um and these are then like the trousers so they just have like a basic like simple waistband like not really a lot going on there like no zip or anything they're just elasticated and then they kind of go down and they're kind of like balloon leg sort of trousers and they have like a nice seam sort of detailing down the side there's not really a lot to them they're just super basic but i really really like that because it's kind of just like what i go for in my wardrobe and these i got in a size small again and together like i said on the model it looks really nice i don't know if it's gonna look good on me like it might all just like blur into one all the black and just blend in together and look a bit weird but on the model it looks really cool and i really like how it's a basic outfit but the trousers are a little bit different because they're quite balloony rather than your regular like wide leg fit and then the top obviously has the cutout detailing so that is the first item this is not quite the vibe that i was going for like it just does not look right i kind of love big baggy balloon trousers but i don't know if these are just a little bit too much and for some reason i'm getting clown slash mr blobby vibes but like 21st century like modern like neutral monochromatic version of that it's just not really what i was wanting you can't really see the cutout detailing on the top because obviously it's against black so like you can't see that contrast and i just don't know maybe like separately this with something else so you can see the cutout detailing would work better maybe these trousers of like a tight vest top would be a better vibe but together these just aren't quite it if i just move my hair out of the way so you can see a little bit better this is what it's looking like and i'm just not sure like it just does not look as good as it did on the model i just feel like this adds about 32 pounds on to me and it's just not very flattering if you know what i mean i think this is going in the box to be returned i don't think this is this is not the vibe this is not the vibe and then as you all know if you've seen my zara hauls before i cannot stay in my lane i can't just shop on the women's section i always have to look in the men's and the kids wear section and i found this little again it's like a two-piece but it's not like it's not a co-ord but the model is wearing these two together does that make sense so i decided to get it so this is the jumper it's like a kind of a crew color um like ribbed knitted jumper and it's one of the zip jumpers that go down like this and then you can kind of wear it open it's kind of like a like three quarter well quarter zip sort of jumper it looks like so and i got this in a 13 to 14 and it's a really nice like stretchy sort of like baggy material so it should hang really nicely and it's a really like soft lovely knit and it's not itchy which is very very important and then to go with it i got these matching leggings which i just thought were so cute so these are like a dark gray ribbed legging they also did these in black and i think they did them 
in like a beigey cream colour as well. But the model, like I said, was wearing these two together and I really liked how they looked. And they do look quite small, but they're really, really stretchy. And again, they're really like, oh, these are such a nice material. These are kind of like leggings that you could just wear to get to wear around the house because they're that like soft and cosy and comfortable. And they've also got like this cute little bow on them and you could get them, I think they did them in like, basically newborn range up to 13 to 14 so you could like if you had a little baby you could get these and match with them which would look so cute i don't know what this curtain bang is doing like what is going on with this today i've booked in to get my hair cut because it's just not it's not it's not doing well basically so just ignore that because that is just an atrocity <laughs> then going back to the adult section but carrying on with like ribbed knitted things i got this dress because i have a dress kind of like this from mango i've worn it in a few videos so you might have seen it but it's like a gray v-neck just like long straight down dress and i'm absolutely obsessed with it and i wear it all the time so whenever i find dresses that are somewhat similar to it i always get them to try them because I love that one so much that I'd like to have more if that makes sense and this one's kind of similar in the fact that it's just like a straight down like slightly v-neck like long maxi dress but it's a navy sort of really thick ribbed material so it's going to keep you nice and warm you could even put like leggings on underneath it put a vest up on so you can like layer up underneath it to keep you extra warm but like I said it's a really really lovely thick material and it's quite a thick ribbed just like literally straight down like navy maxi dress and like I said I love my mango one this curtain bang I'm sorry that I keep going on about it but it's doing my head in. Like, I cannot look in the viewfinder at that. It's doing my head in. I can't remember what I was saying then. I got sidetracked by this curtain bang. I've tried to put hairspray in it 20,000 times to keep it in place. It's just not working. I just need to get it cut. I don't know why. It's just not working today. So just ignore that. Uh, I can't remember what I said though, like I said. But I got this in a size small for reference. I think that's enough said about that item. We shall now move on. Then I got a couple more knitted dresses. These two are the exact same. They're just in two different colours. So obviously I've got like a kind of whitey cream colour and then a black colour and they're these like slightly high neck knitted little like long sleeve jumper dresses almost they've got a kind of ribbing detail along the bottom here looking at them now holding them up I think these might be a little bit too long for my liking I quite like things to be quite short I find if they get to a certain length where they're kind of long but they're meant to be short dresses they can look a little bit awkward so I think these unfortunately might be like that but I'll give them a go and try them on and these I both got in a size small they do also do them in an extra small but I wanted them to be a bit more of like a baggy oversized fit um so that is that one and then obviously the black is just the same and it has got the same sort of like ribbing detail on the bottom of the sleeves that it has on the bottom of the dress and then a kind of this high neck i mean this one is going to be a nightmare for getting makeup all over it maybe the black one is a little bit of a better option um but they're a really nice like thick knitted dress i feel like these are a perfect item as well for like literally every single year like they're just like the perfect basic staple for an autumn and winter wardrobe every single year you can layer up with them like um coats and gilets and stuff obviously layer up underneath as well wear tights and boots you can put little cycling shorts underneath and like long sleeve tops to keep you warm lovely perfect staple or some <laughs> winter item and then um i don't know which one to go we'll go with this next this is a little two-piece like little tracksuit set and it's a really soft material the only thing that i have just literally thought is that it could bobble in the wash it's kind of like a I don't literally know how to describe this material. It's like a really like unusual material, but in like a nice way. But it's basically, like I said, a tracksuit. And again, they did this in a few colors, I think. I wanna say they did it in a black and a cream, but I cannot quite remember. But I got this sort of like beigey sort of color. So this is the hoodie. So it's got this giant hood on it. And then it's kind of like a boxy, slightly cropped fit. And then it doesn't have any pockets or anything on the front, like no drawstrings, no pockets, just a basic jumper. And this one, I got in a size large okay must have been out of stock in the other sizes but to be fair I don't mind like a nice oversized hoodie but just bear in mind that normally I'd get a size small and that was a size large so if you know sizing references and all that and then these are the joggers that I got to go with it which are a size small and they're just like your basic jogger with the cuff hem elasticated they've got like a kind of drawstring which is really nice and they're really really soft pockets literally just your basic joggers really not a lot to them and these were 25.99 and the hoodie was 25.99 as well so about 50 pound 52 pound for the set but it's a really nice like comfy cozy set and i do feel like you could put this on with like a nice 
sort of like trench coat or something and some nice like trainers and you could wear it out the house as well as like obviously wearing it as loungewear in the house as well i'm actually really happy that i couldn't get this jumper in a size smaller or medium and i had to get it in a large because i actually love the fit of this if i just move my hair out of the way um i just feel like it's so much nicer being like bigger and boxier and baggier so i'm actually really happy about that and then these are the joggers they fit really nicely i have um pulled them in a little bit on the drawstring just because they're a little bit baggy just on their own but obviously that's kind of the whole point of the drawstring um really really soft really comfy absolutely love it so that is the front and then on the back this hood is giant it might be because it's a size large that might be part of it but like it's an absolutely giant hood it's kind of heavy and i can feel it on my back is the only thing but i quite like the oversized look and then that is just it from the back and then also the little joggers and then i got another pair of masculine style wide leg trousers because if you've seen my videos before you know i absolutely love these and i got a pair similar to this i think it was last year and whenever i wear them people always ask about them and then i feel really bad because they're obviously not on sale anymore so i thought i would get these ones to show you as an alternative but they're basically like a camel sort of colored wide leg trouser i love trousers like this because they just look so put together but they're so easy to style because literally just chuck them on with a white vest top you're good to go i mean obviously that's been more of a spring summertime one you need it a little bit warmer for this time of year but you know what i mean they're like really really easy to style they just go straight down like this little black button on them belt loops and then the back they've kind of got like a little bit of pleating detail here they have a nice like fold detail down the middle of the front of the trousers and these i got in an extra small and they were 29.99 and yeah just basic like wide leg camel trousers to be fair not really a lot to them but i absolutely love trousers like this so i wanted to show them to you and then i got this dress which is like going to be the most perfect dress for this time of year with christmas coming up and everything as soon as i saw this it literally like shouted christmas out to me through my phone screen and it is this red faux leather dress which i think is just going to be such a statement dress for the christmas season going to like a work christmas party or something like that this is going to look beautiful so it's like a bandeau faux leather dress and it goes straight down it's kind of like a medaxi length and it looks like this it's kind of got like some ruching detail on the top here it zips along the side and then on the back there is like a little split detail and i just think this is going to be one of those dresses that it's kind of like a jaw dropper head turner dress because it is faux red leather it's so christmasy it's going to look so sexy and elegant i literally love this and this i got in an extra small and it was 45.99 which is not bad at all i feel like christmas dresses and dresses for the holiday season can like I feel like places often boost the prices up and they can get quite expensive. So $45.99, I do not think is bad at all. And also, you could whip this out on Valentine's Day as well. Lovely Valentine's Day dress as well. And I just like, this just screams Christmas. Like, imagine this little like Diamond Day heels or like red heels or clear heels, gold heels, silver heels, glittery heels. There are so many things that this would go with. And this with like a little canopy a nice like christmas cocktail in hand oh my god it's gonna look amazing and that is the last item for the Zara haul which i'm kind of pleased about because i cannot sit here and look in this viewfinder at the atrocity of this curtain bang any longer so know why it looks like that i'm sorry that it does but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe down below so you don't miss my next Zara haul which will have a lot more things in it for the autumn not for the autumn for the winter christmas season i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and i shall see you at some point soon another one bye